All right, here we go. This is a uh, quick tour of the Extra 300 LP from OzStars. This is a 30cc uh, plane that I've converted to electric. And I'll go through the components. That's the canopy off, the cowl off. The cowl is fairly large. You can see you can fit your head in there virtually. And it bolts on from the inside, which is rather nice. Now, moving up to the front of the plane here, starting at the very front, we have a 75mm aluminium-backed spinner. And the prop I'll be using is a 20 by 11 which suits the uh, Rotomax 1.4, which is expected to put out about 2700 watts when uh, at full tilt. There's a, a sort of a home-built standoff, which works incredibly well, very stiff. According to all the reviews, this is the controller to use with the Rotomax motor. It is a Turnigy 120 amp high voltage opto. Oh, and it's bolted in underneath the, that uh, top surface of the motor box. And around the other side here, we have the power line coming out this side and then plugged through a hole in the firewall. And on the side we have our usual uh, uh, arming switch, an anti-sparking button, and the wiring is in there. There's a resistor, an in-series resistor for the anti-sparking switch. And uh, the wiring has been set up to provide serial connection for the two 5S batteries, 5S 4000s. And uh, with that, with 10S pushing, you really need to have these anti-sparking facilities. Moving right along, we have an outboard switch here for the pack, the power pack for the receiver and servos. And we're just using a two cell zippy, 1000 milliamp hour. And that is connected through this switch and over to a Turnigy 3 amp UBEC with a buzzer. It's set to provide 6.1 volts into the receiver. That's actually a faulty receiver I just used for testing. And uh, all around we have the same servo. This is the, the Turnigy Metal Gear digital uh, standard size servo. which pushes quite nice and hard and it's fairly quiet which is really nice for a digital servo. And here's an example of one of those just on the outside. That's one of the uh, elevator servos, it's uh, paired up with another one around the other side here. And I think this is the one I reversed so that the pair of them push in the same direction. Okay, so there we have it. There's our plane. I shall now do a short run with the batteries engaged. Okay, here we are, ready to give this thing a bit of a run. I am uh, just, I've got the radio set on the extra 300 LP, put the arming switch out, the batteries are all plugged in, and I have to put the arming switch in there and fire the receiver up. So I'm putting the receiver on. That seems to be working well. You can see the UBEX working, the receiver's working. And let's see if we get a res response here. There's our elevator, rudder. Now we need to plug the main power in and uh, see that we actually get our get our motor powering up. Okay, this is take two of that power run. Put it in a 
see what I'm actually doing here now. Right, radio is on, receiver is on, and the control there. Now we're doing the anti spark. Thank you for watching this video, hope it was helpful to you.